and the opportunity is, is right in front of us with everyone being zero and zero. And um, yeah, be a dog, you gotta go hunt. So it's time to go be a dog and, and go hunt, but not alone with 15 to 16 other guys. Go big. Same thing we said last game, hunt. When we have a dip, how long does it take for us to recover? And then we got to hunt again for 10 rounds. All right, come on, let's get it. us you know like you said we have everybody who's new here so you can't listen to the outside noise you can't go on twitter and look at what other people got to say about you because they don't really know what's going on inside these doors inside of moody inside of crump each and every day the grinds and battles that we have these guys going through every day and the, and the ups and downs that we have to go through as a whole people can look at you one way and say oh things aren't going great for this team we're just gonna give up on them but between the lines and inside this program and family aspect that we're trying to build we know we can't give up on one another it's a long season I mean, you know, I think every at sometimes people are frustrated. You know, people are up and down. But I mean, with the with the teams we're playing and the competition that's in front of us, you don't have that long to dwell on it. You know, you can dwell on it for 24 hours, and you got to turn right around, and two days later you have another game. So the longer you sit on it, the more that's going to feed into the next game, the next game, the next game. So in those moments, you have the right to be disappointed. But the next day when you come back to the office, you know, you got to turn, flip the page, and get ready to work. Ian Amberton from Toronto, Ontario. And Coach Rock told me from the beginning that um, like you can go to a lesser school and get playing time and all of that, but you will really learn something and really develop and play against guys who, who are at your level every day. So if you're chance to start, which I, which I see you starting, is what he says, but I see you starting in the, in, in, um, in the past, that you can you see that you earned yourself that spot because you've been playing guys every day at your level, and now to be starting, that's who um, I see you being like. So then for me to start at UCF was really a big thing for me because I know all hours in the gym, early mornings, late nights at some points, that it really does pay off, and I'm gonna keep going from that. They're only getting texts from each other saying, hey man, you're all right, you're all good, or from the other coaches, which is really good to see because you, because you get that supportive kind of role, so you don't feel alone, and you don't feel like you're, you're in like your own kind of zone when you're, on, when, when you're on this team. You feel like you're all together and you can really trust people who you're with. My name is Vinny Kaluti. I'm the basketball performance coach here with SMU Men's Basketball. You know, coach says it all the time. It's not just about basketball. It's about having long lasting relationships and seeing the big picture. And that was something that was really important for me and was one of the main reasons that I got into this business. I love what I do. It's, you know, it's fun. I get to show up to work with shorts and a t-shirt and train young men and women, whoever I get to. But at the end of the day, if you can build up somebody's individual characteristics, they become a better basketball player, but they also become a better man. And wins come with that. Uh, but it's really about developing these young men's resiliency and metal through what we challenge them through, whether it's on the court or in the weight room. And that was 
that was the values that I agreed with and why I felt so connected when he asked me to join the staff. You know, he, he talks to our guys about never being too high and never being too low. Um, and throughout life, we are always going to have speed bumps. And it's about keeping a level head. And I think he walks that every day. Uh, whether we're in practice, whether in games, he doesn't let himself get too hyped up. And he remains calm in the sense of battle. Um, and I think that's something that our guys see on a daily basis because they see it. It's, we're trying to build that characteristic about this program and about this team this year is through adversity because no game's perfect. How are we going to respond? How are we going to, you know, put our heads down if something doesn't go our way, even though we battled for 30 seconds of a possession and they get a late rebound, or are we just going to continue to fight and continue to be calm and continue to keep our heads knowing that if we just keep pressing the right buttons, if we keep pushing, the ball will roll our way.